up, what up? Back at it again. So it's that time. We're about to go to the dealership now. You know, got to get it done once in a while. But, you know, luckily for me, it didn't really happen too soon or whatever. But we're going to get brake pads and rotors right now. Um, yeah, so I had to switch it up. You know, let me go ahead and give you all the cold start. See how she sounded today. definitely needs an oil change. That's one thing about these cars, man. They love oil, and as soon as that oil level or that pressure goes down, it it just sounds different. It shifts different. So, so I got about an hour, hour and some time of drive time uh, to the dealership, so I'm going to take clips here and there, and we'll see y'all there. Peace. All right, we're about to cross into Mexico. Do a quick pull for y'all real quick. Let's make sure we got this in sport mode. Feel me? As you can see, uh, it was kind of raining crazy here, but you know, God looked out and brought the sun out for the kid. You feel me? So I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna look at some cars here, see what's uh, on the lot, see what they got going. Um, this spot is pretty low key. Every time I come here, there's not too many people. This is the same dealership I brought my car at. Uh, which I got a story for you. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened later, but yeah, we out here All right, so the first car I see This is sales guy told me It's a 2019 scat. Obviously, it's aftermarket it's been Tinted we Got the SRT none of them came with that so Window guards Tell it doesn't have the Brembo's. I mean, this is still nice. The body kit, you know what I'm saying? It looks like you got the LEDs and the, uh, the vent holes. So, I'm liking the black on it. I'm liking the black on it. 2019. I don't know how much it's going for. Let's see if I can find a sticker. So, they're only advertising the warranty package. <laughs> so, the warranty package is 4000 The warranty package for my car is about 4000 So, this car has to be listed at about forty, forty, fifty thousand. 50000 But he said it is a scat. There's no badges. So, we'll see. That's ridiculous. But it's fun, though, bro. Like, I, I, I can't lie. I love my job. Yeah. I do. Now, granted, I don't have a lot of time to myself, but really, I don't, I don't, I don't need time right now because I got, you know, goals, yeah, aspirations, stuff. I got you. How do you? Don't have any kids. Twenty-two. <laughs> See, I would have thought you was way older. What's good with that Black Widow? So that's a truck right there. Man. Is it? I, I've never even heard of it. Well, Black Widow, they're not an actual truck brand. It's like what the, they are, they're an outfit. Out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, like, everything that's on that truck, you can really only get from Black Widow. Black Widow. Main thing is the rims. Everybody loves the rims on those trucks. Mm -hmm. 
Black Widow's the only place you can ever go. How much is it going for? 95. That's not, that's not too bad. 62, 64? 5, 5, 7. I wish it would have a 6, 4, 6, yeah. 2. That would be great. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go check it out real quick. Oh, yeah, man. Go ahead. Nice meeting you, man. Yes, sir. Gavin. Gavin, DJ. So we're going to check out this Black Widow here. Talking to my man, Gavin. Uh, he just, you know, asked me questions about this YouTube shit. Why I did it. Started talking about, you know, him liking to work here, so... It's cool to each his own. But this man. It's Black Widow. Sheesh. So this is a truck, boy. It's definitely a truck. Alright, so I'm gonna wait. Wait around, chill around, might get something to snack on. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, everybody trying to get me to buy this, man. <laughs> I see you with a camera. I'm like, hey, man, this is a YouTuber, man. I'm from Black Widow. <laughs> Y'all got it listed for like 95, you said? Yeah, man. They're, they're, they're all about the 100, uh, 100K price point. But it's past everything. Passing Yes, sir. Nice trip, Oh, yeah. I sold two of them last month. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we run deals on too, man. Yeah, man, when you got a camera at the dealership, everybody wants to sell you a car. Shit, it is what it is. But anyways, we out here. I'm going to check out some other cars real quick for y'all. Kind of doing this vlog style. That shit sound crazy. <laughs> I love Dodge cars, man. No cars sound like them, you know what I'm saying? Like, even, even... Even like your sport, sport, sporty, exotic cars, like they have their own sound. Dodge has its own sound. Mustangs sound like you're farting in a can. You know what I'm saying? Hondas, all right, come on, it's a four banger. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. But nothing sounds like a fucking Dodge, bro. Nothing. At all. I want to tell you about the story like when I first got my car and how the finance guy was literally on his second week on the job and he kind of messed up my deal. So basically what happened, remember in the first video, I told y'all that I put 65,000 down, or sorry, 6,500 down. And I wasn't planning on putting anything over 5,000 down. But the finance guy said to me, hey, if you put down 6,500 and you get the platinum package and you get the ding shield, I've yet to use that I can give you 4.6 so I said okay 4.6 that's good right I take the car home about a day later yeah it was like the next day he calls me and the way he called me was kind of crazy he called me like yo I need you to come back today to sign these papers and I said uh, alright cool to sign what papers what are you talking about? I signed the papers. I got the papers with me. And he says, well, I have to redo the deal. I have to give you 4.9. I said, whoa, buddy. Nah, bro. Nah. You told me to put down an extra 1,500 to give me 4.6, and that's what I did. Anyways, I refused. I told him, listen, if that's the case, I'm going to bring this car right back to you, and you can have it. So he had to get his boss involved. At the end of the day, like I said, they came through. They ended up they ended up lowering the price of the car. You feel me? So that I can get my 4.6 like they promised. And that's exactly what happened. I refinanced anyway, but I held my ground on that. You can't tell me, oh, put down an extra 1500 and we'll give you this. And then you're still gonna keep my 1500 and say you're not gonna give me that. Nah. It doesn't work like that. So Gavin just told me that there's a Hell Kitty over here, and they just took it in for trade. 
but it's not necessarily for sale just yet. But it is a challenger. We've got the gray, light gray stripe down the middle. Yeah, man. I guess this guy was in Midnight Mill Parts. Car club shit. Don't really do that. This right here, though. Ooh. That blue. Sick. This is a Scat 392. Yes, yeah, sir. Black stripe down the middle. Nothing like a good old Dodge. Nothing like a good old Dodge. We got another Challenger with the Shaker package. Scat pack. Oh, this one got the red guts in there. I like that. So I totally missed this one on the lot. This, I mean, this is pretty nice. I, I ain't going front, but it's a little different. You got four F-150 Raptor. This one actually has the uh, price tag on it, so we can actually look at that. So this is what we're looking at. Actually, not. Nah, they didn't put the price on here, but this was traded in. If you want the package on it, three grand. This ain't no regular F-150. This a flipping Raptor. Damn. Yeah, this truck is nice, man. All right, so here's one of those Black Widows in all black. See, I like, I don't know, man. The black is just... Way nicer, man. Way cleaner. You got those same rims. And again, Black Widow is an outfitter. So basically, the dealership sends these, or from the manufacturer, they get sent to Black Widow and then they do their thing to it. But basically, it's a Ram 1500, 5.7 liter Hemi. $100,000. Put in your orders now. All right, yo, what a day, what a day. We made it back to the crib. Everything pretty much went through as expected. I just wanna give y'all a recap of what all went down at the dealership and what I had to pay and all that crap. So here it goes. New rotors each side, front brake pads each side. I got the AC filter changed as well. My oil changed, which I already had a contract for the oil change, so I didn't pay anything for that. Filter was like 35 bucks. So the squeaking noise that I mentioned before, they actually discovered that my rear exhaust valve actuator had went faulty, right? So I talked to the service advisor. I asked her, was there anything that I possibly did to make this go wrong? And she said, honestly, no, she's never ever had anybody need that part. So it's just my luck. Luckily for me, I actually have the Platinum Package uh, warranty again. I only had to pay a small deductible for that to get fixed. That part alone is like almost $500. It was like $485. I paid a small deductible. They're gonna order it from Atlanta. I have to go back there tomorrow to get it installed. So I gotta call them in the morning to see if the part actually came in. And then once the part is there, I'm gonna drive all the way back there, have it installed, and I'm not gonna have to pay anything else. So all my debts are paid. So how much did I pay for all of that? K 
came out to $3,119.93. Guys, you got to pay to play. And that, that's not even just for a Dodge Charger. That's any sports car. Any, any car that's high performance, that takes bigger parts than normal, right? Six-piston Brembos are bigger than normal brakes. The rotors, when you have Brembos, cannot be machined, so you have to get new rotors. Each rotor is like 1200 bucks. Yeah, you gotta pay to play. It's, a, it's an expensive hobby. It's an expensive thing to do. Now, listen, when it comes to me, I don't drive my car crazy, so they were actually surprised to see that I reached 70,000 miles and I'm just now needing brakes. So for me, that's, that's a little comforting, right? Mr. Ron, one of the service managers there, told me that he's seen people come in with 20,000 miles on the odometer needing brakes, which that is crazy. Like if that would have happened to me I, at 20,000 miles, I would have really reconsidered keeping this car. So. That wraps it up for today's journey. I appreciate y'all sticking through till the end uh, on this vlog adventure with me, uh, checking out the cars and, and, and getting my car fixed up and, and all that good stuff. I still got a lot more content for y'all to come through. So again, just do me that favor, hit that like button, hit that bell, tell your friends to come holla at your boy, see what I got going on. Your interaction with all my videos means the world to me and it helps me out a lot. So until next time, guys, be safe, be blessed out there, drive safe, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.